hey hi hello welcome to another analysis video for today's video we will be analyzing customers buying product a also tends to buy what products before starting that i would like to encourage you guys to hit on the like button below this video this way you will help youtube algorithm understand you enjoy quality click sense videos like this and youtube will recommend uh, this kinds of video in your feeds also if you enjoy my videos make sure you subscribe so youtube can recommend them in your feeds and also don't forget to hit on the bell icon next to the subscribe button this way you will instantly get notification for my upcoming videos so that said let's understand the data set what we have for today's video we have the same e-commerce uh, data set what we had in our previous videos so the columns here are invoice number and then there are stock code invoice numbers are not unique here because of within an invoice you can buy multiple products and stock code is similar to your product id that is description which is the name of the product quantity in how many quantities the product was bought invoice date on the date which the invoice was created unit price the price of that product for a single item then there's customer id and then there is country i hope the data set is clear So here within ClickSense, right, you are, you might be able to see two uh, tables, okay, and both the tables have same data within it. So basically, let's try to understand if user buys a product A, right, they also uh, tend to buy what products, okay. So, so on the left hand side chart, right, I have created a simple uh, customer count by description. That is, if you see, there is a description that is the name of the product and if i go into the expression we are doing count distinct of we are doing count distinct of customer id so as you can see i hope this expression is understood uh, the change what happens is within this uh, this table so i'll show you first of all then i'll take you through the expression so now if i select any uh, product right let's take for example we select regency cakes three ta uh, three tier so you can see 888 customers have brought this so if i want to understand right customers buying regency cake stand also tend to buy what product you will be able to see from this chart so as you can see this 888 customers who brought the regency cake stand they also tend to buy regency teacup which is out of out of 888 325 have bought them so similarly following are the products wh what have been brought by regency cake stand customers you might also have seen this within amazon so if you go on amazon to buy any product right below that product there is a section called as uh, customers buying this also buy this product so within that it shows you like for an example if you are on a shoes page so what all uh, other products uh, have been brought by customers buying these shoes so basically uh, our analysis follows the same so basically we are trying to understand uh, right now guys who brought this regency cake, uh, cake stand right they also buy this so i hope you found this um, analysis interesting now let's try to understand what's under the hood what expression is making this possible so here as you can see uh, first of all we have count distinct of customer id similar to what we had in a previous chart the only difference is this part now let's try to understand this here we have one as the set identifier so one as a set identifier identifies that any selection whatever we are doing within the app right it doesn't affect this expression only filters what we have done within this expression right here that would be affected so i hope that is clear also here we are trying to filter out customer id based upon only the possible customer id so the p function uh, uh, signifies possible values of customer ids um, so I'll, I'll 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 demonstrate you what is happening so just i wanted to show you the expression here like i hope you understood the expression basically i have not taken basic uh, set expression videos i have not done that so i'll be i am planning to do that soon but uh, but for, for now just try to understand uh, one as a set identifier make sure no other selection what you're performing on the uh, dashboard right would interfere with this uh, 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 with this expression 
but also it will make sure that only that customer IDs are selected which are possible within ClickSense. So I'll show you what I mean by possible. Okay. So now uh, when I select the Regency cake stand three here, right? So you might be able to see within this filter pane, right? There is uh, some part of section which is white and some part is grayed out. So basically white part uh, signifies these are the customers IDs who have brought this product, but these are the customer IDs who have not brought this product. Okay. Who are not associated to this product. So now when I scroll you this, right? So these are the customer IDs who have brought this and this grayed out ones are not have not bought this. Okay, now if I click on this triple dot icon and I click select possible. You can see uh, nothing has changed on our charts. But if I now remove this uh, Regency cake stand filter, right? So now you can see both the charts are similar. So basically what I've done is I've selected all the customers who have brought Regency cake stand through which we are able to understand that what uh, other products they have brought right so that's why uh, bas basically with the p of customer function within the expression right we are uh, selecting this customer ids okay and then uh, by adding that one as a set identifier i'm making sure the regency cake stand filter is not getting applied on this chart i hope that is clear i'll be making uh, the set expression basic video soon in which i'll cover this concepts in detail but this is very much analysis perspective so i hope you understood what we are doing analysis wise so now uh, let's let's try to analyze the data so if i click on regency cake stand right so you are able to see this other products that are brought so uh, you can see how simple it is to analyze uh, data this way so this would be very useful for your end users when you show this kinds of report to them and for sure they would rate you highly for your clicks and skills and you might also see how simple this is to do so if you have enjoyed this video make sure you hit on the like button below this video until next time have a good time